The cosmos was originally all hydrogen and helium. Heavier elements were made in red giants and in supernovas, and then blown off to space, where they were available for subsequent generations of stars and planets. Our sun is probably a third generation star. Except for hydrogen and helium, every atom in the sun and the earth was synthesized in other stars. The silicon in the rocks, the oxygen in the air, the carbon in our DNA, the gold in our banks, the uranium in our arsenals were all made thousands of light years away and billions of years ago. Our planet, our society, and we ourselves are built of star stuff. We're in a lava tube, a cave carved through the earth by a river of molten rock. To do a little experiment, we've brought a Geiger counter and a piece of uranium ore. Now, the Geiger counter is sensitive to high energy charged particles, protons, helium nuclei, gamma rays. If we bring it close to the uranium ore, the count rate to the number of clicks increases dramatically. We also have a lead canister here, and if I drop the uranium ore into the canister, which absorbs the radiation, and cover it up, I then find the count rate goes down substantially, but it doesn't go down to zero. What's the source of the remaining counts? Well, some of them come from radioactivity in the walls of the cave. But there's more to it than that. Some of the counts we're hearing right now are due to high energy charged particles which are penetrating the roof of the cave. We are listening to cosmic rays. Every second they are penetrating my body and yours. They don't do much damage. Cosmic rays have bombarded the Earth for the entire history of life on our planet, but they do cause some mutations, and they do affect life on the Earth. The cosmic rays, mainly protons, are penetrating through the meters of rock in the cave above me. To do this, they have to be very energetic, and in fact, they are traveling almost at the speed of light. Think of it. A star blows up thousands of light years away in space and produces cosmic rays, which spiral through the Milky Way galaxy for millions of years until, quite by accident, some of them strike the Earth, penetrate this cave, reach this Geiger counter, and us. The evolution of life on Earth is driven in part through mutations by the deaths of distant stars. We are, in a very deep sense, tied to the cosmos. <laughs>